News flash, we got updates, baby. This right? <laughs> you know that happens all the time because we just released yeah. our uh, on cooldown news series on Wednesday, and uh, during the night there were a couple of updates. We have the 9.1 PTR up with some of the announced changes. Now we're gonna go through them uh, from Wowhead because there's uh, a lot of them. But hey, no more AOE cap. Eh? <laughs> oh my god! Eh? Finally, man. Well, it's not, actually not kind quite. of like a soft <laughs> gap, which is what most tanks have today. Yeah. Where past uh, a certain number of targets is it? like five they said five targets but there are like aoe abilities that have the normal cap at eight would those yeah. be reduced past uh that's a good question past five okay yeah, well, let, well let's see what the, the, let, the let's read let's read with the launch of shadowlands we reduce the maximum number of targets that several abilities could hit specifically to address a few gameplay problems related to pulling a large number of enemies in dungeons which i mean to be fair this is always going to be the case in the context of mythic plus because oh, yeah. that's kind of yeah. how it's designed it's time-based people find ways to get it quicker of course Players often refer to these changes as the AOE target cap. Our intention was to reduce the effectiveness of burst AOE buttons against large target counts. Why? I.e. 15 to 20 enemies. Probably because they thought that was uh, whatever. Degenerate the, gameplay? Exact, exactly. Nah, no. it was fun. The, the thing is, they kind of addressed that in a way in Shadowlands where they made uh, a lot more casters that cannot be CC, that you cannot really group everything into one ball or that you kind of have to constantly kick. So I yep. think that was a much better way at reducing the AOE cap. And if you could find a way to circumvent all of those issues, all of those cast kicks that you need to do, you can essentially be rewarded by a wing bigger group. So, mm. yeah. Well, uh, while also increasing their effectiveness, uh, effectiveness against fewer targets, three to five enemies, and communicating that strength clearly in the tooltips. The abilities that remained uncapped were generally ones that offered lower damage over a larger period. No longer. shit. Flame strike, anybody? Combustion flame strike? Hello. Yeah, wildfire bombs, stuff uh, yeah. like that. Counts the creation blizzard. <laughs> Along with the other changes, we set out to move away from pull as many enemies as possible which again it's it's counterproductive to the context of mythic plus because that's kind of how it is i mean uh, they they competitively they yeah they yeah well they took this well it's comp it's always going to be competitive because you have a time frame yeah they took this from diablo 3 and they didn't properly research the diablo 3 concept because in greater rifts which is the mechanic that this was pulled from you pull everything as much as possible that's yeah. kind of how it is when you have a time frame <clears throat> Pull as many enemies as possible. Use all of your cooldowns and delete them. I mean, then the, I mean, come on, that was fun. It's fun. It's not degenerate. It's fun. As the predominant strategy across va uh, various forms of content, we've received a lot of feedback that these abilities not hitting enemies in their range in any way creates a feel uh, problem for WoW combat, but is also an issue for trivial encounters like farming uh, legacy content. Well, yeah, <laughs> for many of the abilities, it's, it's so weird pu pulling like fifty like little globe things and doing a, doing a blade storm and killing eight at a time. It's it's, I, I, I so weird. It's, it's annoying. For many of the abilities that underwent the change from uncapped to a strict target cap in 9.0, we're converting that damage to reduce damage beyond five targets. This means that the ability will deal full damage against five targets. Wait a minute, okay. Underwent the change from uncapped, okay. Five targets, then reduce damage to each additional target beyond five. This means that while the overall damage done by abil ability increase the number of targets, the individual damage done to each target will decrease. This solution means that these abilities and their relative classes will still have a very strong niche against packs of four to six enemies. As always, tuning will change as a result of this shift over the next few weeks based on your feedback from the PTR. And I think we have a, an example of... Yeah, uh, yeah, let's go. I think they, they posted all the abilities that have been quote-unquote uncapped. Now, we don't have numbers. This is the thing, right? Uh, we don't know what the actual percentage will be for the beyond five targets thing. We, we're going to have to see that. Uh, but we can we can only assume that the, the overall DPS will remain almost unchanged and it will just be split onto depending on how many targets you're actually hitting, which again, is, it's one of those changes that increases lag. If you remember, Preach made a video in... Uh, in oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah, that they, one, they, yeah. they, they, every time you press the ability, it calculates how many enemies you hit and it splits it. And if one adds it, it does that calculation again and again and again and again. <laughs> so I don't know how this will translate into serviceability, it but... It's even more complicated now. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have Sacrificial Pact, which will uh, hit five and uh, less damage uh, past that. The Necrolord ability, Reanimated Shambler, which is... Uh, the legendary, which I don't, I've never seen anybody use it yet. Uh, the consumption talent, nobody uses it. Bla Bone storm, this. Ah, uh, okay. So this, uh, this is maybe okay, and especially for DK, but this is very hard to keep uh, aggro with in, in large AOE packs. Bursting sword talents, frost scythe. Blade Dance, Fell Barrage, Soul Cleave, Spirit Bomb. So all hey. of these you reduce damage um, on uh, on targets past five, past the number of five. Soul Forge Embers. 
marksmanship, survival, carve, butchery. Okay, because these were not... Okay, so what they're doing apparently is that the, uh, the target... This was about... So the, the abilities that hit only up to five targets are going to still hit the rest, but will only will do reduced damage. So they don't change stuff like I'm curious to see if stuff like Bladestorm or Warriors kind of kept at like uh, eight targets. Okay, Divine Storm, Fan of Knives. Yeah, I wanna I wanna talk a little bit here about the the rogue changes because this will definitely increase the the prowess of uh, AOE, especially for sub and assassination. And it's interesting enough that they did not do anything to outlaw. And this is uh, a little bit concerning, at least in the outlaw community, because uh, apparently, um, you know, both specs, assassination and sub, kind of went a little bit better this time around for for mythic plus. And with this change, it's adding even more on that because outlaw didn't receive anything to this. Well, Outlaw was already a big ass powerhouse, but it wasn't uh, affected by this. Uh, not affected. It wasn't taken into discussion when talking about the Outlaw's not there. But you know, I'm as an as a both assassination and sub rock player. I'm mega happy. I'm, I cannot well, wait to see this shit. This is my question for you, man, because Black Potter is included in this, and Black Potter used to hit eight targets to full damage. Yeah, it's going to hit only five targets to full damage. This is this is not clear enough because you, you mentioned this earlier. So the, this this for rogues for warriors, right? This yeah, is like the blade the storm is still here as well. So this is a a, a th something that I'm a little bit concerned because you. I mean, if, if they're going to restrict all these previously eight target cap abilities yeah, to five, that would be shit. But I don't yeah, think that's going to be the case. Because if, if, if you take what they said, uh, uh, basically hard. At, uh, at hard value, Black Powder and Blastrom are going to be nerfed. Because if you're going to fight eight targets, Black Powder is going to do it's damage to five to and then five. have yeah. it reduced. Like, this, I don't know the calculation. Like I mean, I don't, I don't think it's going to be like that because th this was mean basically nerfing a lot of the classes. So that I don't think that's their intent. It's just a matter of tuning and properly applying mm. everything and communicating it well, at the same time. That's, that's 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 okay. So we've, we've actually talked about this uh, before recording. Um, this is, Everybody just wants uncapped AOE because it's just silly. And I think this is, they're eventually going to end up in a place where they're going to uncap all of their abilities and eventually you know, to tune the damage down or up um, as, as required. And this is probably a stepping stone towards that direction because if they uncap everything off the bat, it may be too much to balance the tune in 1.5 patch. So maybe we'll see more yep. of this slowly being added in 9.2. And maybe, I don't know, by oh, the time of the next expansion, we'll be fully uncapped again, which is going to be great. I mean, okay, sure. Sure. They wanted to test this thing. They wanted to see how it goes. It didn't. Nobody really liked it. They were more successful with just tuning the encounters differently. So you cannot really pull ten packs at once. So I really think that you know they, they should go back, but they shouldn't stop here. Uh, definitely. They are just uh, this is the the thing, right? We talked about you know tanks having a little bit harder time, you know, maintaining aggro if this will will go live, and if they go for the reverting the AOE cap entirely, then they have to do something with the tank damage as well. So I think like. Just coming, coming, going back to the no AOE cap for everybody would mean a lot. Would have a lot of implications, right? So this is the first step, I believe, and slowly but surely, I think maybe nine point two, maybe next expect, yeah, you know. And plus, we're missing a lot of number tuning, so we, we yeah, we, we don't have to take this with a grain of salt because yeah. you have stuff like Spirit Bomb, who was soft capped at twenty targets, but now does reduce damage beyond five targets for Vengeance, and that was kind of like the. What you would sack to get, you would sack defensive to get damage. So now, if you the damage is lower, it's kind of awkward. I don't see Prot Paladin addressed. Brewmaster has Rushing Jade Wind, which I guess it's okay, but again, that's also an ability that Brewmaster used to keep aggro with. Yeah. So I guess we'll have to see how they implement this. Um, right now, it's like like uh, Marcin said, it's a step in a good direction. I'm really really Probably liking thinking. that they're they're doing this constantly. I really want to see the end result because again, like we said uh, in the the video yesterday, it's not enough yet. But but um, this is how you gain the trust back. Slowly, slowly, baby steps. Yeah, I think uh, one of one of the biggest things uh, that they they posted because we, we did see initially on the the, the first message, you no know, legendary recycling and stuff. Oh my god! I wasn't yes. expecting this, man. So you can scrap a legendary and get its full refund I'm back. I for sure would have thought that they would have given like yeah, 80 like, or like, 70 yeah, take, take some, yeah, some scrubs. Yeah, but not, they went full a little on. Bit, a little bit of taxation you it, got going on. I mean, on. dude, this is, this is super cool. This is another thing that uh, we talked about a lot in a lot of our videos and a lot of the community has raged about and the fact that they went full on, no more bullshit, half-assed, you know, crumbles, let around, just get, get, get back your full soul ash, your soul cinders. Beautiful, man, beautiful. And again, uh, we said this yesterday in the Uncooldown video, 
it's not something that will make us trust them. Okay, uh, but it is good. So it we'll, is, we'll good. have and, to and appreciate it. Is it good? Day, it's, it's not really it's not free because you still have to buy the base item again. Well, yeah. So did, I guess I, I guess I, I told you I have nine legendaries on my rogue. No, I have eight on my rogue and nine on my druid. I don't need all of them because they're not all viable anymore. I want to just scrap those and have more solash to do. Yeah, you know, no, the I, viable I, I, I agree. I agree, and I'm I'm glad that they they uh, get, made us get the full solash and soul cinders refund. We're we're gonna have to see exactly how the auction house in the market translates into the base items because. You know, if you have oh, to yeah, buy yeah, the yeah. 240k gold one three more times, I'm gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. But, but it's good. It's good. Again, one good. more step in a good kudos, direction. Kudos, and, boys. Um, we we talked yesterday about the the Legion Time Walking Dungeons that it, they will have the Mythic Plus variant, and we briefly mentioned. Yeah. That uh, they will uh, they will be you, the Mythic Plus will only be available during the week. Um, I honestly hope that it would be available. Uh, like unrestricted, but I guess it's it's kind of interesting that it's available uh, only one week. I'll have to see exactly how I feel about that specific restriction, as opposed to the Mythic Plus just being available is fun. It's actually an, an interesting. It's cool to go back to see exactly how the current uh, classes translate into the meta that we had oh, so many yeah. years ago. And yeah, that on top of the fact that I think they mentioned that the affixes will be legion affixes, so yeah. nothing well, like... And they, I, they, I think, they did not um, say that they, this will add to your score, but the, the gear no. will be uh, gear Shadowlands will be Mythic. Be yeah. level. And also it will add to the vault, which is... I mean, really it, it cool. Will add, it will add uh, progress towards the vault, but the vault will not include loot from. No, 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 not shadow, not but region loot. See but what, I, what I'm mostly, the... what I'm most interested in is, obviously nobody has done the Sims yet, but there are trinkets, you know, because obviously if you have stat sticks, you have stat sticks, and the Legion, you have to remember that Legion dungeons don't reward weapons. You have <laughs> you artifacts, artifacts weapons baby. At the time, it's so, all good. It's all good. It's so all good. yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting how the trinkets translate. If they're gonna be balanced, if we're gonna have the trinkets nerfed, the, obviously they will be scaled. So I wouldn't be surprised if they had or introduced any kind of balance. It's a little bit weird that they don't contribute to the score because you know you would have. It depends on what week they come in because you know if you have a good week with good affixes and you want to push your score, but now you have Legion dungeons, so you kind of have to choose which one you're gonna do. Might yeah. be, might be. That's what I'm actually waiting to see exactly how it will mash up against all of it because I actually think this is pretty cool. I really think this is pretty cool. Uh, we, uh, you know, it's... I it's, mean, it imagine like a, a world... Two months or whatever. It, just imagine a world where you would have in your, your Mythic Plus rotation or whatever, you know, dungeons from uh, Mist of Pandaria or World of... That would be, they that invent, would be really Either cool. they invent affixes for that or they just use the current affixes. I don't know if everything would work as, you know, the current affixes. We have the fucking, you know, uh, Torghast yeah. boss, mini yeah. bosses or whatever. But imagine that world. I mean, uh, doing Mythic Plus is super fun. We still enjoy it to, to the theater. It's really fun. But sometimes it gets stale when you're like trying to farm the same dungeon or you get the same key now we can change it of course we have like eight um, dungeons for a year now yeah but th that's the thing right add some variety to it it would be really really cool this is why i said yesterday in the young cool video that it's it's a bit of a slight missed opportunity uh because they go, they're gonna have the mythic plus thing only during the the event why not just have well, it all there on on that point because we did talk about uh, the the rewards for Mythic Plus because we weren't really sure uh, like the eye level of the items if they're going to be scaling exactly the way that the eye level scales currently. I think if the eye level scales, uh, it's the exact same eye level depending on the exact same number of key as our current dungeons, then that's actually pretty good. And the fact that they're they're limited to once every what two months or however long the the Legion time walking comes comes back in the cycle. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good because that that doesn't let them uh, feel like they need to restrict the eye level and invalidate the current level of content. Not to mention that, um, I mean, you know, <laughs> items and everything aside, the mechanics have to be balanced as well. So oh, that, that's I cannot gonna, wait. It's going to be gonna, such that's a gonna take a while. I mean, we're there, we're definitely going to test that out on the PTR and uh, yeah, we're going to yeah. tell you if gonna, it's going to be, you know, easier or harder. But probably that's why they won't let it contribute to the score as well because the mechanics yep. doesn't translate. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing. A lot of the, uh, the, the, the talks, the things that they announced are not yet currently implemented on the PTR. Uh, future builds will uh, ha include all of these. Oh, yeah. But we decided like to make a, a you know super fast video on them because we believe it's really cool and give our thoughts on it and maybe just speculate a little bit because I do believe some of these changes may be the, the I would say, initial embryons of things to come. Who knows? Of, of uh, maybe the, a, of the new 
fetus of World of Warcraft <laughs> that will bring us back yeah. into the game and bring everybody else. Well, yeah. we can only hope, man. And I'm actually happy that these things are happening. And it's, I really hope this is not a, oh my God, what's happening to our game? Let's do something trend. I really hope that they continue yes, with this. this because is if they do, this is this is the game that I've won. This is every week we get like, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. As opposed to like months with like no communication, no changes. Oh, we're just buffing. Yeah. Go do tour guest and shut up. Yeah. You know, not, not that. But hey, this, uh, this has been it. Let us know in the comments what you think of all these changes and uh you know we'll have a chat over there and also big thank you to our patreons who um, uh, are quite responsible for making or enabling us to do these type of videos like oh they happen on the flash where they happen while while we were sleeping but that's not important once we got to the office we you know recorded it and that's yep. it so uh hope you enjoyed these more more like these to come you know as updates come along thank you patreons thank, thank you. you thank you everybody and uh, we'll uh, see you next time bye bye I've been loving it then, I still love it now Still, I play wow Still, I play wow Getting better every day, let me show you how Cause still, I play wow Still, I play wow It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day It's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow Still, I play wow